Hi everyone. Um, in this video, we'll be going over some basic clustering in R, and uh, we'll be using the Iris dataset, which is a very popular dataset. You can download the dataset from the UCI machine learning library. It's available for free, and R, uh, you can download it again for free. It's a uh, open source uh, data mining software. So uh, let's get to it. Here, we're going to open R. And I'm running R in R Studio. So we have a better interface and we have a... It's just a better way to use R. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get to it. We're going to import data set as a text file. And I've saved the uh, data set on my desktop, so we're just going to navigate through. .csv data set. Perfect. Iris. I'm going to save it as Iris and we hit import and there you go this is our data set we have the sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and then the species of the uh, of the flower we have setosa we have vesicula and then we have virginica and we have 50 samples of each So we're going to be going over some uh, basic k-means clustering. K-means clustering is a um, unsupervised learning algorithm and uh, it doesn't need a uh, target class. Like over here, our target class is species. We won't need it. So first, we're going to remove species and as well as this x variable over here that just uh, got added because of uh, some data integrity problems. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, replicate the RS dataset as rs.x and uh, now you can see we have rs.x. Now we're going to remove species as well as the x variables. So there you go. And let's open rs.x now. See, we have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. So we're all good. Now we're ready to run our k-means clustering algorithm. Uh, over here, we are running the k-means algorithm on the iris.x dataset. And three over here is the number of clusters we're going to form. Uh, there's a specific way of uh, getting this number over here when we don't know the target classes. But in this case, we knew that there are three species, so we're just going to keep it as three. We're going to save it and fit. So hit enter and there you go. We have a fit over here. And let's view what our algorithm did. So it has three clusters, sizes of 96, 33 and 21. We have a cluster means. We have a cluster vectors as in the first variable is classified as into cluster 2, second variable cluster 3, and so on. Now let's visualize it for a better understanding of how our algorithm classified these uh, uh, these species. So first we're going to uh, open a library which is cluster and then we're going to use the class plot, uh, uh, class plot over here to uh, visualize our clustering and there you go this is how our algorithm cluster clustered all three of our species now this was just a very simple overview of uh, how k-means works 
for deeper understanding I would suggest uh, going over the internet forums as well as some data mining books. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.